hello people from Demo. You might recognize me from some of my father's evil schemes. But he kind of ate something funny last night. So he's indisposed. So, I'm taking over. My father is an evil genius, but Demo fails to recognize his abilities, his style, his passion, his clarity, recognition he demands. So here's the plan. Anoint him God of Demo Gods, or we will render Demo servers useless with a DOS attack of one million requests. It's a billion. Rick! A billion? Billion with a B? That seems like a lot. Is that too evil? No. Oh. Alright, alright. Why you billion request? Rick, what's going on here? Well, this isn't our presentation, but it's okay. Every time you don't tell me you cause problems, Rick. We, we, <laughs> we can handle a billion. You gotta save we, can, we got our servers here. We can handle it, right, David? We can handle a billion. Let's invite our uh, anti-evil genius up, Mr. Steve Wozniak. Let's let's uh, let's put this in. We don't have a we don't have a server, Steve. But uh, oh, look at that! Just the power of Steve coming no! on stage. Fusion for me again. Yeah. I quit. Can you use that newfangled, newfangled gadget of yours, Siri, to get this thing started? Let's, Let's show him we can do it, Neil. I, I could if I had my. He's given up, but you know what? We got your back. We're gonna show you right now. Come on, Rick. Come on, I want to invite you back. Right now, but we just saved Demo. You Save got it, buddy. Demo. You got it, Steve. Kick it off, buddy. Let's go. Okay. Should be going. That's pegged. It is absolutely pegged, Neil. One billion. That's hard to believe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is serious. And actually, this is a fusion S. You gotta admit, right. Neil, if we're gonna do a presentation, who else is gonna do it like this? I mean, when you live with the consummate practical jokers of, of Steve and David, you're going to end up with Mini-Me in a demo presentation. Well done, guys. Well Thank done. You. But you know what? In all seriousness, uh, I wish it was bobbing more, which means we're doing over a billion IOs per second. We are right now doing, ladies and gentlemen, from a handful of servers over there, one billion. One billion. One billion IOPS per second. And since we're getting to the serious side, uh, Steve, why don't we let David just give these folks, because I'm sure you have some questions, a quick explanation on how we're accomplishing one billion IOs per second. You know, 30 years ago, people used tape drives, and it took seconds to find the data. Nowadays, disk drives take thousands of a second to find the data. What we're demonstrating today is the use of non-volatile memories, but as a memory device that's accessed without having to go through the operating system to access the persistence of, uh, of the memory. So using non-volatile memories as the memories they are. And that allows us, as you see here in just one rack, to do over a billion IOs per second uh, because of this memory-like access. We call this uh, auto commit memory, and it's a very powerful tool that uh, we wanted to unveil to the world uh, here where we initially uh, launched the company. Thank you. So uh, with that, with that uh, uh, I think, uh, guys, uh, and sorry, Neil, it was just a, a practical joke from these guys, I promise. Dr. Evil and Mini-Me is not out to get the demo servers. But if they were, that really happened. One billion IOs per second, and it's happening right now. In fact, if you want to walk up afterwards and corner one of these fusion engineers, they'll they, pull they up a screen. They worked long and hard to make They worked long and hard. They'll pull up a screen and they'll show you. There is one billion IOs per second. That just happened. One billion. Yep. We're done, aren't we? It's across uh, little details. It's over uh, um, 128 IO memory modules in eight different servers uh, running in aggregate uh, the billion IOPS of 64 byte cache lines accesses. Which you just sounded like a press release. There you go. Which just, I think, hit the wire. 
So, if you want to read about it, it's in the press release. Um, are we done, sir? Yes, we are. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for letting Fusion take the demo stage one more time. Woo! Awesome. Alright, I'm going to ask you a few, few questions. Can you, can you maybe take Yeah, one? that's fine. And we'll, we'll have a conversation because I'm representing the audience here. Okay. And you, you, you explained it really well, but um, not quite well enough for me okay. <laughs> to, to understand because I'm, you know, I'm a little slow on what really you know, a billion IOPS, you know, IO operations means in the, in the context of things, right? So what I do know is that you launched on stage and I think a few years ago it was doing a hundred thousand, or is it a hundred thousand? hundred thousand, yeah. And then you announced a million IOPS, when was that, like last year? We did, we did it, actually the first time was with IBM in Project Quicksilver and right. it took a rack of equipment and it was built into their uh, SVC, SAM Virtualization Controller. Yeah, that was 2009, I think. Right. And, then, and then the next year we did it with uh, HP, a million IOPS from within a single server. Got it. But we decided to raise the bar a little bit tonight. So, so, so Waz, you're here too. And, and you're chief scientist, right? Right. And, and I, I heard you, you, you played a role too um, in, in terms of shaping the product somehow. Can you talk a little bit about what your role is? Yeah, didn't do a role like direct engineering or something like that. But as far as just, I don't know, the company culture starts from the beginning. And if it's going to go a long way, you know, it's sort of the ideals that you have when you start. And one of my big jobs is to recognize what was beautiful and what wasn't about the various products and the approaches of Fusion IO and just to respect it for just a lot of different reasons. What's in, what's in that rack there, would, it, it, it's what just last, last time they were here, it would have filled this room, you know, with maybe, you know, 50 racks, so maybe 100 racks, maybe right. not even done that. And so it's just so amazing to see something, when it's done the right way, it brings things down to the simple formula that makes things small and easily obvious. You know? yeah, so, but, so can I answer yeah. something about that too? Because yeah. you know, Steve's not going to talk about it himself, but I remember the first engineering offsite about a month or two after he joined the company, remember and had that offsite? Yeah. Steve came in right away and uh, he's like, okay, this is very similar to like some of the EE prompts, the EEPROMs, the flash technology. Have you thought about this, thought about that? And there were two key ideas um, right out of the gate that were making their way into patents. And it was pretty cool. I was like, wow, you know, you think that someone hasn't been in the game for a long time and it's like, Bam, he hit the ground running and he had direct impact uh, right out of the gate uh, with, with that. Uh, well, and to be fair, I'm you know, largely here because I see the good thinking that comes up with those kind of ideas that are good because they are simple, they're direct, they see the formula a better way and it's very out of the box sometimes. I mean, the, when they were up here on stage here the first time, I'm sure that almost everybody was saying, oh, this is just a worthless idea. So I, I want to come back to how, what you first, first thought when you saw that, whether it was a wor worthless idea. But, uh, I, I also want to open it up to questions from, from the audience. Um, they, they've, they're open to, to a few questions. We've got a few minutes to, uh, for a few questions. I do want to point out that Waz, in case you didn't know, what, is a co-founder of another really big company. And he's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's requesting uh, to, to avoid questions about that company, um, if you will, and, and to focus on Fusion I.O. because this is the, the announcement of Fusion I.O. Um, and, and that's where he's involved right now. So um, any, any questions right away? We actually do have a few microphones uh, around, so over here and over here. Uh, hands go up and we'll, we can get back to some more of this cool stuff. Chris. That, that's pretty amazing uh, that you got that many I.O.s. If you were to scale this down, my first thought is, ooh, I want this for myself. <laughs> if I want to scale this down to my PC uh, or Mac, whatever, at home, but are you starting to think about a deployment of that scale? So you know, look our, at that? our primary focus as a company is in the enterprise space, where you know, the services that many of us touch every day, like Facebook and Apple, um, can use the technology in the cloud. But having it more directly in consumers' hands is definitely a passion because you know, it's, it's the, companies are made up of people, and people that get to use stuff at home really appreciate it. So it has always been kind of a desire of ours to go into that market as well. Stay tuned. Oh, and, and, you, yeah. you never know, but you know, building on that, we don't think about how to shrink the whole PC, but we do on a daily basis think how do we shrink data centers? Yeah. How do we make them far more efficient? 